Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Zendaya, and I'm so excited to introduce this amazing documentary series, Salam Dunk. One thing you might not know about me is that I, <laughs> I really love basketball. I started playing when I was in kindergarten, and for a while I actually wanted to be a pro basketball player, more than I wanted to be an actress and a singer. So when I heard that there was a documentary about a group of young women in Iraq who started their own basketball team, I had to check it out. It's touching, it's funny, it's sad, and it's inspirational all at once. And it takes place in a part of the world that we rarely get a chance to see. These young women are so inspiring, and I'm really, really excited to be able to share it with you. So here it is, episode one of Salam Dunk. I'm <laughs> Good morning. It's 11.30 a.m., 31st of March. My name is Leyan, and I'm 20 years old. Uh, I was born in Baghdad, and uh, I spent about 17 years of my life there. And then I moved to Suli, and it's going to be my third year here. This is Michael Jordan. One day I'll be like him. <laughs> in my dreams. This corner of uh, basketball corner. This is my back. How you doing? Lay down, people. Here we go. Ah, lay down. It's another easy basket. You've got to come back further. You've got to come all the way here. You cannot let her catch the ball here, behind you. That will kill us in a game. Come on. Leyland, you're staying here, and Inji's just going behind you. If she goes behind you, you've got to move with her. Safa, Safa, will you grab two of the bags of peas for Dilo's shins? Let me split it into two. Split it into two, the ice. You, you should. Oh, yeah, I'm you fine. Should, you should sit. Sit. It's hurting you. No, no. I'm Ryan, fine. Ryan said go and sit. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Ryan said go. On. Ryan said go and sit. Or you no. said he said you should, you can he go. He said if you, if you feel like you are so bad, he said I'm not. I'm fine. If I was bad, I will come. I'm the first team manager at the American University of Iraq. Either they call me the manager or the boss. 
sometimes they call me mama because Ryan uh, calls me mama because like I take care of the girls and all these things. <laughs> Do you want me to help you with that? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I can't take it. Originally I'm from Baghdad, but now I live here solely in the dorms. So yeah, my parents and my brothers, uh, they still in Baghdad. Uh, this is my mom. Hey mom. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And this is my little sister, Amna. Hi. How are you, Amna? Good. And this is also me. My mother, like, she already lost my oldest brother, so she can't lose me because of the war and the security situation in Baghdad. So I agreed to move to Soleimani and study at AYS. I want to experience everything in my life, you know? I can't experience everything in Baghdad. The main example, basketball. This would never happen in Baghdad. Uh, this ball is my first ball. As you see, it's still new. I couldn't play it. I was, in, I was about 15 years old, and it was pretty difficult to play there in Baghdad. I didn't practice a lot because to practice means to stay after school and it's pretty difficult to stay after school. You just want to go home because it's, the situation was really bad, really bad. I remember once they said that Saddam was in our street and I don't know if it's true or not, but that night was unforgettable because of the fight was just like right there. I could see the bombs like... <sighs> It was, it was, it was scary. I don't know why I'm laughing right now, but it was really scary. And you have to remember, what's the main goal? Just protect the basket. Protect the basket. You're forgetting to protect the basket. You're trying, you're worried too much about trying to steal the ball out there. Okay? All right, go get some water. Good job, keep working hard. No, stop. A couple girls came up to me and said, hey, we heard you like basketball. Here we go, play it again, play it again. Would you be interested in, in coaching us if we got some girls together for a girls basketball team? We don't play sports here. They don't play sports growing up. This is not UConn, this is not Tennessee, but in deciding to take it seriously, there has to be a buy-in. Coming out to practice with a whistle, that moment of everybody on the line, and it was kind of like, what do you mean on the line? It was like, on the line, like, we're gonna run sprints. Everybody on the line, everybody on the line. Let's go, get there. Our effort is severely lacking. So if we can't if we can't get better at basketball, we're gonna get in better shape. Let's move! All the way down here, kiddo. When they committed then, I knew we might have something. My name is Angie. Uh, I'm from Kirkuk. Uh, we came here, we moved out to Sully three years ago because Sully is much more safer than Kirkuk. The first basketball practice was really awkward and funny because some of the girls came to the practice wearing high heels. And it was like so funny. <laughs> they, were, they couldn't even run. It was like, oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> I learned a lot the first practice. I think they learned a lot the first practice. There's a little garden just outside the walls of the university. To jog around the entire garden is maybe a tenth of a mile. We ran, I think, a minute or something, and we were like all dying. <laughs> we couldn't even breathe. I'm jogging, and I turn around, and all of a sudden, there's no one behind me. And we've gone around one corner of the garden. 
And we went back into the university and I was saying, you know, is there anything I should know about today? How did today go? And Ryan, we can't go outside again. You, you never see a girl running here. They will talk about it in news. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed to tell that, but it's just, I think it's the truth. أني علي محمد طه من بغداد عشنا ببغداد من أني جيت للدنيا إلى حد تقريبا صار عمري 18 سنة فبعد تقريبا أربع سنين من وجودنا ببغداد بعد الحرب قررنا أنه نجي لسليمانيا This is, this is the situation in 2006 we, we could not bear it anymore we said no more يعني أني ببغداد أوصلها للمدرسة وأرجعها the bag that she was yeah. taking her to school and to take her back to the home. Okay. And, uh, she has a lot of energy. She, she, she wants to play, but there, there was no, pl no place to play. So uh, this team it was like the, the dream for him. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Sham. There's so much that I learned about leadership and about the type of person I wanted to become from playing basketball. Very few of them, if any of them, come from a background where they had anything like sports. And so I think for a lot of them, basketball has been a chance to have their own thing, something that belongs to them and to take on a leadership role that they've never had an opportunity to do before. Let's not be happy with what we've accomplished thus far. Let's continue to get better all the way until the last minute of the last game of the season. Okay? All right, we got, a, we got a lot to cover and just a few minutes in which to do it. First of all, did you guys have a good day? Yeah! How are the tests? No good? No, Sucks taking tests on game day. You're really nervous. Okay. All right, somebody, anybody know any good jokes? New, yeah, a good joke. We can win! <laughs> hey, that's not a joke. There's nothing to be nervous about. You guys have worked harder than any team at this university to get ready to play. You know that. Everybody at this university knows that. And so there's nothing for you to do right now except have a great time playing basketball, OK? Before the game, the girls said, we're going to win the next game, you know? There's no way that we're going to lose. We need to play just as physically as they play. And if they push on us a little bit, we keep our knees bent and we are ready to play. I hope we're going to win. I hope we're going to kick some butts in the eye. If, if they lean against us, we do not just fall over. We are strong, OK? The winning very important to me. It's kind of my life. It's, I need it. We beat them at those plays, and we will win this game, OK? We out-hustle them. I really want to win because we lost a lot of games. So I just want to win one game. <laughs> just one. <laughs> Everybody together. One, one two, two, three. three. Oh, yeah.
basketball before joining the team? I've never played basketball before last year. Maybe like playing with like brothers and sisters in the garden or something, but you know, not like inside the team. on the other side of the court, and we're not doing a thing about it, okay? Carabella game was so amazing, because it was so physical. One of the most physical games we've ever had. Their coach was telling them to, to do a good job by falling on the ground to, to get the foul and to hit us. Were, he was clapping for them for that. She's not going to make that shot, so just get away from her. I know, I know, I know. I was surprised when Coach Ryan told me that there's a, a team from the South are going to come to Suli and they will play with us. It is, it's kind of surprising because it's a conservative place. Their coach was really jerk with them. It was like grabbing their hands, insulting them, and they didn't say anything. physical game, right? You know if you get the ball, there's going to be a girl leaning on you and slapping at you and trying to hit you, okay? So get used to it. It's not going away. You guys have done a good job playing tough against it. What we have not done a very good job of doing is staying in front of our girl and guarding the girl's good work. be guarding someone needs to guard her so talk to your teammates and figure it out come on we're gonna come out we're gonna play the same man to man when you're open bend your knees take a good shot we're gonna win this game we're absolutely gonna win this game we've played better than them all day and now we're gonna go take it Give them some support, okay? Eyes up. Eyes up. All the way, all the way.
until today. What I, I'm thinking about the game, and I just keep smiling like an idiot, you know, <laughs> just like, yes, we won. <laughs> the Carbola game was just awesome. It was the first time we won. It was just, it was different. Hey, that was a lot of fun. Great game, coach. That was a lot of fun. Everybody over here. Woo! How does that feel? <laughs> You guys, I'm so proud of you. We are so proud of you. Hey, this was a tough game. It was a physical game. You're all gonna be sore tomorrow. It's okay, it's okay. You guys played really tough. I, I, I got nothing else to say except for congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. favorite song is Kush Kush. Like suddenly we saw like all the audience who were in the game, like they were on the road and they were like just playing music really loud. We made a traffic jam and, uh, but it was okay, it was fun. Okay, guys, I cannot help but get caught up in the excitement of the first victory. Okay, that was their first one, and it did not come until their second season. So they really, really earned it. They had to keep pushing themselves no matter how hard the road seemed. The other thing that impresses me so much about these women is that they didn't wait for an opportunity. They created it. They recruited a coach. They started a team from scratch. And just like Ola said, it belonged to them. It was theirs. No matter what people thought, if they didn't approve or maybe they weren't the best team, they created something that no one could take away. In the next episode, the girls play against a much tougher team and they have to do it without one of their strongest players. Can they go two for two? You'll have to watch and find out. For other powerful videos just like this, make sure you subscribe to the Teen Vogue channel.